Hi, this is Marissa from Atio. Atio is the next generation of CRM. We believe that CRM should be quick to set up, easily adapt to your business model, and that AI should be foundational to the experience. In this overview, I'll show you exactly how we're redefining CRM and how you can use it to accelerate your business. We'll start with the company object, which stores all of your company records. Alongside people, these objects automatically populate when you connect your mailbox by creating records for the companies and people that you have emailed or met with, reducing setup time. Atio enriches these records with attributes like LinkedIn, employee range, and job title. Communication intelligence, again synced from your mailbox, gives quick insight into your whole company's relationship with the company with attributes like connection strength, last interaction, and next calendar interaction. Through these enriched attributes, Atio begins delivering value to your organization from day one. Beyond the system created attributes, you can easily create as many of your own custom attributes as you need for storing the information that is relevant to your business. With a few clicks, I can choose my data type, give it a title, and my attribute has been created and is ready to use. Perhaps I want to create a select type attribute to show if a company is a prospect or a customer, or a currency type attribute to store their MRR. I can even set up relationship attributes which allow you to associate different records to one another, so you can build out your data model and retrieve attribute data from the other side of the relationship. With Atio, this is as simple as a few clicks. Let's see this in action. Atio automatically connects team members to their company based off of their email address matching the company domain. But I would like to track who our main point of contact is for each of our prospects, so that everyone in the team knows who to reach out to. So, I'll create a relationship between companies and people Select one-to-one -one as a person can be the main point of contact at one company and a company can only have one main point of contact and give the attribute names. Now I can not only see who the key contact is but easily pull in data from their record such as the email address. Companies and people are two of Atio's standard objects which also include deals for your sales pipeline and workspaces and users for syncing your customer and product usage data so you can track both prospective and existing customers. The deals object allows you to track the buying journey from first contact through to close in table or Kanban views. Atio's workflow tool and integrations with the rest of your go-to-market stack can populate new leads from web forms, demo bookings, or customer usage data. Atio gives you complete control over the data that you store on your deals and how it's displayed for your team to streamline and automate every step of the deal management process. Views let you build customized pages with the exact data that you need to quickly execute on daily tasks. You can filter, customize attributes, or switch to a Kanban board for clear process tracking, pointing your team towards the most urgent tasks and providing context for smarter and faster decisions. Here is a view of all deals and inbound leads assigned to me, with an AI attribute evaluating their fit to our ideal customer profile. This is a high urgency opportunity and I can quickly send them an email template for high value leads, which is customized with details from our data. With the email sent, I can then flag them as a high value opportunity and move them to our contacted sales stage. I'll share in a bit how you can even automate processes like these to send emails and update the data with a single click of a button. Now back to companies. I'm going to navigate to a record page and as you might expect with Atio, it's highly customizable. So you have full control over what data points you're highlighting at the top here and over at the side of this record. The activity overview tracks your history of interactions and data updates. The email tab gives everyone a shared view of every email touch point that you've had with a customer. So you never lack context or history when you're prepping for the next call or meeting. Each user has fine grained control over how email data is shared. Here you'll see any calls that have taken place and were recorded through Atio's call recorder. And you can also create templates to extract and summarize the topics that are most important to your sales motion. Notes store call prep and meeting summaries, while to-dos and files keep related information organized. You can add tabs for relationship attributes to get a full overview of associated records. Atio also facilitates internal collaboration through comments. And when you at mention a teammate, they'll receive an alert in Atio web and mobile app, and you can configure additional alerts like emails. Atio's open data model doesn't limit you to its standard objects. You can create custom objects tailored to represent any process or entity in your customer lifecycle. For example, I've created an invoices object, 
which is syncing due dates and amounts from my invoicing platform and associating them to the company, workspace and billing admin. Custom objects and relationships provide your go-to-market teams with a single source of truth for all aspects of your customer relationships. So let's take a look at how we might start using some of this cross-object reporting functionality to actually run a workflow in Atio. I have an upcoming event in London that I want to invite some of our customers to. I'm going to start my workflow here from this list of platform admins. This is a save view that I've already created where I'm looking at just the people whose associated user login, so the user object, has admin level permissions. But I need to make sure that they are all based in London so I'm going to filter that their city is London. Further than that, I'm actually only interested in those people who work for companies where they are in that ICP category. With just a couple of clicks, I've narrowed down my contacts to those who are based in London, whose companies match my ICP profile and who are power users of my product. So let's add them all to a list of invitees. Lists are a subset of records and allow you to store data related to your specific processes. Outside of this example, they can be used to track processes like recruitment, customer success, or fundraising, and can be created from scratch or from a pre-existing template. You can manage as many processes as your business needs, allowing different teams to customize Atio for their specific use case without ending up with an excess of attributes on the object level. So this is a list of attendees for this upcoming event, and I can create list-specific attributes, which exist only in the context of their list, to keep tabs on their RSVPs and dietary requirements without editing or cluttering the parent record, which in this case is the person record. Beyond being able to segment this data and store it where relevant, this specific list actually uses both workflows and sequences to automate the invite process. Workflows let you automate your go-to-market tasks and processes in Atio, as well as other tools in your go-to-market stack. This can be anything from simple Slack notifications, all the way to researching, triaging, and routing your leads. You can build fully automated workflows to help your team get their day-to-day -day tasks done more reliably. You choose a trigger, which is an event that kicks off the workflow, and then various action, condition, or calculation blocks that build out the path of the workflow. Here I have a workflow which is triggered any time a person is added to the invite list that we just looked at. From here, it will then add that person into an email sequence and update the status attribute in the list to show that the invite has been sent. Looking now at that sequence, which automates email sending for one or more subsequent emails, this sends an initial email with details of the event and requesting that that person reply to the email to RSVP. If after our chosen amount of days, we have not received a reply from this person, then Atto will automatically send the follow-up email. So just by adding those selected people to my list, I have not only compiled the selection of people that I want to invite to the event, I've also sent that invite, updated their status, and don't need to worry about chasing for responses, and that was all done with just one click of add to list. With my data organized and automated, Atio's reporting gives leaders tools to understand trends, patterns, and track performance against goals. There are five types of reports which support pivot-style reporting on all of your current data and complex historical analysis to understand how customers have moved through your pipelines over time. My revenue dashboard includes the growth of our customer base over time, funnel reports to understand the efficiency of our sales process, as well as reporting on all of the other data sources that we track about our customers, like inbound lead volume, number of product signups, and data that we collect from users who decide to churn. Because Atio's model is fully customizable, reporting extends beyond just deals, helping you generate insights that truly matter. I hope this overview of Atio has been insightful. We have in-depth videos of all of the features mentioned in the Atio Academy, so give those a watch if you would like to learn more about the power of Atio.